Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this video, we're going to look at um, something we get we get a request for occasionally in tech support, and that's if a, we have a client who's got an end user who's got 1520s, ACT 1520s installed on a site, and those controls were set up with DHCP. The scenario we get is how do you change those 1520s to static IP addresses, and how would you configure that within the software? To do that, you'll need a laptop or a PC with ActWin Pro installed. Let's have a quick look at the ACT1520 board, first of all. Really, there's not much to change here. On the top right, you've got your two-port um, dip switch. Just make sure that DHCP is set to the off position. I find this good practice to set it to off, power down, power back up, and then we're, we're ready to go. First of all, we're going to load ACT install, the install software. That brings you to the start page here, and you can see there's your live system, and I've only got the one controller. Let's go to advanced setup and controllers. Let's click, click on the controller in question, and go to communications. And here you can see our existing controller, its IP address, and so on and the port. So what we need to do is go to the controller locally, browse into it, change its IP address and then come back into the software and update that setting. To go to the controller we need to enable um, the web browser that's built in. It might be enabled, it might be disabled. So let's go to operations and is web server enabled? In this case it is, so no changes needed. Back to the um, to the to the door in question, simply click on the, the web page for the controller and that will take you to your browser. I'd recommend you use Chrome. That brings us to the, to the browser window. Uh, username is installer and the password is nine six times, six nines. And then just log in. So this is the web browser version of the, of the controller. And all we're going to do is go to communications and then at this point we can change its IP address to suit our our application. You can see that DHCP is disabled as mentioned um, I switched the DHCP address off, enable switch off. So if we change this DHCP, if we, sorry, if we change this IP address now to uh, 61 for instance and save that. And now the system in the background will reset and its new um, IP address will be 61. So let's leave that for a moment. In the meantime, we can go to the install software and we can change that address to suit the, uh, the, new, the new IP address. Uh, 192.168.1.61. Save that. Okay, and can we connect to it? Let's have a test. There we go, connected. And that's a very simple way of changing the IP address on a, an ActWin, on an ACT Win um, control of the 1520. So if your previous installation has got the 1520s with DHCP and your client wants to turn it off to static IP addresses, this is the way to do it. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and projects teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.